Hi, in the previous lecture, we learned how do we get the largest value from a particular column, like for example, CGPA, the highest value was 8.8. .8. Later on, we learned how do we get a record with the highest CGPA. And then we also learned how do we get the top N performance records. Like I want to get the top five records based on CGPA. And the similarly, how do we get bottom end performance records based on CGPA. In this session, we will learn how do we rank the candidates. A rank is a numerical position assigned based on the standing related to others in a particular context. Like for example, Devangini has scored 8.1. Now, is this 8.1 good or is it bad or is it average? We can only get to know when you compare this with other participants in the class and what is her standing? Is her standing first? Is she first in the class or is it fifth in the class or 15th in the class or 20th in the class? So, okay, only when you put the position, right? Then we will have a better understanding about the performance of candidate. Now, if you want to uh, provide a rank for a data frame, we have a method in Pandas data frame called as rank. We'll try to use that. And since there are 22 records out here, it will be a little bit difficult for us to understand and analyze. So for that, what I'll do is I'll try to take up only the first few records of this, let's say first five records. And then I'd like to capture into a data frame called as DF. And next thing is, this will only do a slicing of it. It does not make a copy of this data frame to make sure that it makes a copy. Okay, so I'm just using dot copy. So after that, I'd like to observe, has it copied the first five records of this or not? So we have the first five records out here. Now, I'd like to apply this rank on this data frame and observe what it does. So it is given a rank for name based on the name of the data, what you had in the name column and in CGP also. One more thing what you can also observe here is it has given rank one in CGPA for a candidate, a third candidate may be more. In fact, if you look at this, that is the lowest. And the highest out here was 8.3. And for that, they're given the rank as five. That is the smallest value that they have given the first rank and second smallest is the second rank and then go, okay, in that way. But what we wanted is, we wanted to give the rank in a way where the highest get the first rank and then we don't want to apply the rank based on the alphabetical order of the name. We would like to only consider CGPA and I don't want to modify the CGPA record. Instead, I would like to create a new column called as rank and I'd like to store the rank in the out in that particular column. So for doing that, I just try to use df of rank. This is going to create a new column. The column does not exist equal to I'd like to access a particular column and now this basically gives me a series, not a data frame and I try to apply the rank and yes, we were seeing that it was giving first rank for the lowest value but what we wanted is we want the first rank for the highest value. For that, we'll just try to set the ascending equal to false, that is give the rank based on descending order, fine. So I'd like to apply this and after that I'd like to show this data frame. So is this rank provided or not? So you can just observe that yes, uh, the top scorer Udeshna has got the first rank, Parismita has got the second rank and Devangini has got the third rank, Ash is fourth and Maribu fifth rank. Now in this particular data set, the CGP is scored by all the students were unique. No two students scored the same CGP. Now, we need to observe what will happen in case if two students have the same CGP. For that, let us try to add one new record out here. I just try to write df.loc and then let me try to add a new record with the index value 5 equal to and the name portion, let me try to write my name, Sikanda. I'd like to give a CGP which is same as one of the records. I just try to give it as 7.9 and then the current 
rank is zero. Any of the rank will be recalculated. So I'd like to observe is the record added or not? Yes, the record is added. Now I'd like to apply this rank once more. This statement. I'd like to see after this adding of the record, I'd like to observe what is the rank of Sikandar and Ashish because they don't have the same CGP. Here, what you can observe is it is giving a rank of 4.5, but generally we will not have a rank of 4.5, right? So we will have numerical values. So here, the method of calculation for the rank, if multiple people have the same uh, score, is average. It's basically taking the average. Now, if you want to see, I would like to give the rank 4 for both, right? So in that case, I need to specify one more parameter out here, which is called as method. And then the method of calculation for the group of records with the same value, we should consider the smallest rank among them. So we can just observe now. I got rank 4 here for Ashish and Sikandar. But if you want to assign 5 for it, we can basically assign max here in this observe. Nobody is assigned 4. So 1, 2, 3. Two people are assigned 5 and the other one is 6. There is also one more method called as dense. Right? It is similar to min. That is, the Ashish and Sikandar will be assigned 4. But many people will not be assigned 6. Okay, just because two people have got fourth rank, suddenly the next record will not be six. Instead, it will be just like one incremented. So, you can say rank always increases by one between groups. So, observe carefully difference between dense and min here. So, the min, two people have scored four, rank four, and then this is jump to six. And if you say dense, similar to min, but the rank always increases by one between the groups. So I hope the concept is clear. Thank you.